Yeah, so what we like to do is share what we call the whistle widget of the week. And that is something that we are utilizing in our business that either saves us time, makes us more money, or just generally helps us have more fun. So with that said, Brian, what are you sharing this week? So mine um, saves me time for sure, um, which lets me be a lot more efficient. Also, I'm a big fan of gadgets, so it's a lot of fun. But I was having issues with my old mouse. I was using a Logitech G602, cool looking mouse, wireless. Um, but when I started working from home, it stopped working. So I got a new mouse. Um, you can see my old mouse had buttons here on the side, a um, couple on top, you know, whatever. My new mouse has got a lot more buttons. So I think it's got three, six, nine, 12 buttons here on the side, plus another mouse click here on the side. So when I hold this down, I can remap all these buttons to another key. Um, so this is the Logitech G600 and was like 40 bucks. Um, it's a wired mouse, which I actually really like. Um, but yeah, that's my, my new gadget. I'm using it for helping me refresh um, websites, going back and forth, copying, pasting. I even have one of the keys to where I press that key and it brings up my smiley button. So that is my widget. It looks like Kyle just bounced out for a quick second. He should be back in. There he is. I there you the go. On the side of my Did mouth. you refresh it? That they go back and forward on web pages. That's the default. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the default. That's kind of what I figured was happening. I, I was wondering if maybe you re refreshed it. But yeah, that's my new widget. Um, again, it's got like 24 buttons I can customize. I've customized six. So I'm almost there. <laughs> What's your widget, All right, my widget is literally something that you touch hundreds of times a day and don't harness the power of it. Some weird lead in, huh? Yep. What that is, is this little device right here, known as an iPhone, or, or you might have an Android phone. Um, but there is a very, very powerful thing built into this in Siri. Siri is your best friend. And I feel like a lot of people don't use Siri enough. The thing that I use Siri for, number one, is just to remind me to do things. There's so many times where I work, we're like pinballs as realtors. We're like bouncing all over the place. And it's like, oh, wait, got to call this person. Got to call that person. Got to go do this. Got to go do that. We forget things all the time. You can very simply just say, hey, Siri, remind me to shoot a podcast with Brian next Monday at 2.30. And I got my headphones on. But automatically, she just popped that right there into my calendar. And it's now going to remind me next Monday. Monday at 2.30, then I'm going to shoot a podcast with Brian. That feature is so freaking powerful because we forget these things all the time. And so you have a, uh, an assistant already. You just don't use it. So use Siri. The beautiful thing, too, is if you're using a Mac, my computer is now going to remind me of that, too. So not only am I going to get a notification on my phone, I'm going to get a notification on my computer as well so that I don't forget about things. So if you're like me, like 99% of the other realtors out there and you forget things all the time, Siri is your best friend. If you don't have an iPhone, you have an Android and you could just say, okay, Google, which I actually have a Google uh, home on my desk here. And, and she reminded me about this podcast at 2.30. So um, whether you have a, a Android or an iPhone, just say, hey, Siri, okay, Google, and you leverage this to your advantage. So that is what we got for you guys today. I hope you got a lot of value out of this and have things that you can take and implement in your business immediately. If you have questions you'd like to have us answer here on the show, or you want to connect with us, um, find out about events we have coming up, get connected on our Facebook group, subscribe to the podcast, subscribe to the YouTube channel, just hop on thewhistleway.com and we will get you connected to all of those things. With that said, Brian, any parting words? That's all I got. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of The Whistle Way. We'll talk to you soon. Wait, wait. Before you leave, I want to share some more tips and tricks that we're using in our business to take it to that next level. Just click right here. And don't forget to subscribe. Click right here.